My name is Melissa May Gardner and I'm a music photographer and journalist. Even though most of my imagery is very in your face, I wouldn't consider myself as a threatening presence, which allows me to get as close as I need to to get the right shot. I feel comfortable shooting in any environment, from grime nights, drag shows, raves, posh clubs to strip clubs. People regard me in the same way wherever I shoot, and I love what having a camera in my hand allows me to do beyond taking the photo itself. I can be a people watching fly on the wall, and no one questions what I'm doing or why I'm there. Fortune favours the brave, and I owe it down to living through this ethos that I've got my best shots, bagged the best jobs and met some of the most interesting people on my journey. And if my cards are on the table, most of my success is down to being the ultimate opportunist. My biggest influence doesn't actually come from someone who works behind a lens. Mike Skinner's original Pirate Material is an album that made me feel the way that I want people to feel when they look at my photos. Before listening to this, I hadn't heard anyone speak to such a huge nationwide constituency with as much unpretentious down-to-earth realism as Skinner did. Paying homage to those FM dials while simultaneously reflecting our sweaty palm love affair with dancing in a warehouse with strangers. These were some of the seminal anthems that not only define my teenage years, but brought a new face to UK music that will stay in all our hearts for years to come. And that's ultimately a huge undercurrent to my work as British culture, and that's something that Skinner has reflected in that album to the highest calibre. And he said the words himself that he's a cult classic not bestseller and this resonated with me because I don't want to just take pretty pictures I want to take real photos of real people and real things and if that means I get paid less or have less of a following then so be it music fully inspires everything I do the reason I started taking photos is because of my deep love of music and I wanted to document the world that surrounds it the culture the clothes the parties the people I started taking photos at friends gigs when I was 16 but I soon became more interested in shooting what was off the stage revelers faces blissed out in the music the sweat and the dirty glitter the hedonistic unification that music generates. Music is a universal language, and when you're on a dance floor, you're united regardless of who you are and where you come from. Every time I go out and shoot, I fall further in love with it all. A highlight of my career was recently being chosen to work on a sponsored programme run by the agency Magnum Photos. Responding to a brief set by the teammates NYSAT from the Hudson Beck Group, I got the chance to deliver a photo series that was featured in an exhibition in their magazine and on the BBC, which was a weird but beautiful and validating experience. One of the biggest struggles of freelancing, which is something I know all my freelance friends would agree on, is chasing up invoices. But my second biggest pet peeve is going to have to be promoters asking me to shoot for free as it's great exposure. I love this job, but exposure doesn't pay the rent. And I'm 22 and I really love what I do, so I'm an easy one to take advantage of for free work. But things are finally changing and I'm learning my worth and learning when it's okay to ask for more without feeling like an imposter. What keeps me motivated is the desire to capture a fragment of the transient world around us. Ever changing and evolving, as a photojournalist you have the power to document the ephemeral. A moment in time that may have been otherwise lost, however significant or insignificant it is to the next person. Clout isn't a motivation and I'm not in it for the money, it's definitely a labour of love for me. There's nothing better than the feeling of getting that shot that could have been missed in a blink of an eye, those fleeting in-between moments. 